welcome back everyone to my next video on making a knife sheath. This is part two. Um, Alright, here's our template from the last one. I have here a leather marking pen from Tandy Leather. You can get away with using a bio or a pencil. Um, I like these, they don't scrub out and bleed across. So they're pretty good for the job. But as I said, you can get away with using a bio or a pencil if you if that's what you have on hand. So we're just gonna trace around the template. Not everywhere else. so all right and we need to do the welt now for doing the welt the good part about these simple paper templates is we just cut the welt off the template Like so, and you normally get away with just run alongside that previous one. If you get it in the right spot. doesn't matter if you come out a bit wide on the welt that'll clean up later in the process you just want to keep the inside line of it in the right place because that's what we traced off the blade okay so there's our welt there's our sheath body and our last piece is our belt loop. Now I'm gonna actually make this a wee bit longer than, than what we had from last night. As I said, you can trim off any extra if it's needed. I just like to do it with a ruler because it gives me a nice clean line. That's the piece of paper I cut out, it was just a rough cut. Alright. Now, for rough cutting things out, I use the blade that I had in the knife and uh, 
This one was blunter than I thought. Normally I change, change it when I'm doing the second part of the cutting because I want a nice sharp tip on it. I didn't think this one was as worn away as it is, so I'm just going to change it out a little earlier. And it's still got a good side on the other side. important part of this is a nice sharp blade that's going to give you nice clean cuts in the leather ideally you want to cut through in one pass, which I didn't. Okay, so this one we'll just cut with a ruler again, keeping those nice straight lines. Okay, so that's about what I'm taken care of. Okay, we can use the ruler because you can do that nice firm cut. Make sure that your blade of your knife is vertical. It's got to be nice and up and down. If you're angling your blade, you're going to undercut the leather. If you angle it out, you're going to overcut the leather. And it just starts getting messy once you start joining it all up. There, well,
Okay. Now I've deliberately left this a little long on top. Reason why. So I'll flip it over. Put the template back on. That's the side it came from. There's my center point here. And I can mark my center point up here, which is the fold. And I'll mark it on the material up above. Okay, I want to have a central line. But I don't want that line to go across the mouth of the sheath, which is up there. So I'm going to put that line in. Down from the top. Just run a central line there. Okay, now if we get our knife. There's our well. Make sure our knife's sitting all nicely. And we can turn him back up onto the line. And we want to mark where the handle starts and how wide the handle is. Again, not all the way up to the mouth. Okay. And now we can take the mouth of the sheath and cut that one. So again, nice straight line. Right. So that's all that piece is cut out. And we're gonna do some pre-shaping work before we get to gluing up, which is gonna be the next video. So, on the welt, where it folds together, we don't want something large and wide here where it folds together. So we need to tape, taper the welt down so that it's not coming to that big thick end. So it's simply a matter of taping it, tapering it down. And that's what we call skiving it. So I'm just working that down so it thins out. And put it up on there. Let me have a bit more control with the knife without the knife hitting and get it nice and flat. Doesn't need to be a needle point on it, we just want to thin it down. Just like so. And so the leather gradually comes in. Alright. If we come back to the sheath body, we've got these marks here. Now what we want to do is get it so that the sheath will fold around the handle and then we also want to do some where it folds around the blade. Uh, what I've got here is just a little gouge. This is just a cheap one I bought from China off eBay and all I'm going to do is just remove some of that flesh side of the leather. Just trying to dig a little ditch there so we've got a folding point. We don't want to 
bring it all the way to the top because we don't want it showing on the mouth. Trying to dig it all the way through. And this is what's called six to seven ounce leather. It is four and a half, five mil thick. Uh, which is three sixteenths I think I'm not that good on Imperial so forgive me if I'm wrong and all we're doing is taking a couple mil of thickness off the inside as I said it's just creating a weakness and then we want to do the same down here at the blade end so it's wrapping around the blade and if we use the ruler Work along the ruler and get that straight line. Okay, so either side of our line there. And we're just working the thickness of the blade. Wanna stop about that welt thickness in. Force that line so I've got a nice folding point on it. Just go a couple millimeters deep just to ease everything up. Tidy up all the scraps, make sure it's nice and clean. So there's our prefold marks, and you can see if I put the pressure on there, they want to close up. So that's where the that's where the bending is gonna start. Same down there. When I put the pressure on, they start to close up. Just a wee bit more down here. So there we have all our pieces all cut out, all our preforming work done. So our next step is going to be gluing up 
and that will be in the next video please subscribe so and hit the bell icon so you get notification of when that video comes up and keep along with the journey with me um, until next time thanks very much for watching thank you bye Thank you.